Hi everyone, and welcome to this course, thanks to which we will learn together the fundamentals of data science with the Python programming language. My name is Nicolas. After graduating with a master's degree in computer science, I worked as a freelance data scientist for several businesses, and I now have five years experience in data science and three years experience in teaching both technical skills and mathematical concepts as required to be a proficient data scientist. Section 1 is made to teach you the fundamentals of Python. You will write your first Python code lines by learning to structure and to store information in your program, using functions in order to save time when writing programs, and using programming logic to make your program do exactly what you want it to do. After feeling comfortable with Python, it will be time to introduce two essential libraries, NumPy and Pandas. They are essential for data science. Their main goal is to provide data structures that will help you do more complex analysis or statistical processing later on. This is the goal of section 2. In section 3, we shall discover the two datasets we will use all along this course. We shall load them and process them to use for data science tasks. We will learn how to download a database file from the internet, understand what's in it. From these two datasets, section 4 will teach you how to use Python graphics library to plot data in a variety of ways using the matplotlib library. We will dive deeper into visualization libraries and examples to describe distributions and the relationships between variables. In section 5, we will look at examples showing simple statistical analysis and probability. We will look at some basic descriptive methods and how to interpret their results. We will learn how to find basic patterns related to distributions and relations between variables and we will learn to make assumptions with hypothesis testing. Section 6 will look at how we can take a statistical model and using data to see how our hypothesis fits the model using the NumPy, SciPy, and Stats model libraries. We will learn how to model a relationship based on priors and test how well these priors fits the data. We will also learn to test the effect one variable has over another variable. Finally, Section 7 will give an overview of machine learning using the scikit-learn library. We will learn some basic machine learning methods for classification and regression, and the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. There are very few prerequisites to follow this course. Having a bit of experience with the programming language is not compulsory, as the first section is a primer on Python, but it will be easier for you if you are already used to code. As we will deal with statistics, it's nice to have some notions on mathematics, not necessarily advanced notions, but a high school level should be enough. Once again, it's not mandatory, but it should help you understand some parts of the course. This course is for aspiring data scientists who are eager to add the skill to their toolkit, as well as those who are required to work on data science projects using Python. In this course, we will work with a variety of data science tasks using Python. If you don't know this language, don't worry, the course begins with a primer on Python. Moreover, this primer is already data science oriented. Even if data science uses mathematics and statistics a lot, there will be very few mathematics in this course, and it will be very well explained. The learning process is progressive, thanks to two running examples that will accompany us all along the course. Contrary to some other courses, we won't spend too much time on theoretical concepts at the beginning, because it's better to engage with the material right off the bat. We will go straight to the interesting point. After only three hours of video, you will be able to program an artificial intelligence algorithm. For example, you will be able to analyze meteorological data in order to predict peak ozone levels in the atmosphere, without having any knowledge in the field of meteorology.